Now, it was a Fred and Ginger smash hit movie which broke box office office records back in the 1930s. Now, more than 75 years later, the musical Top Hat is finally making its West End debut. I can't believe it's never been there before. No. The show's been on tour across the UK for the past 17 weeks. It's arriving in London later this month. We're speaking to its stars, Tom Chambers and Summer Strahlen in just a moment. First, here's how they look on stage. That stance of his is so familiar. It takes oh. us right back. Good morning to you both. You did it. You remember doing it so well in Strictly. And there you are in your top hat oh. and your tail. So it's just born to be, really. Well, I'm learning quick. Yeah. <laughs> From this girl, actually. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you both. Now, I, I, listening to that, some people might think, fabulous, fabulous music, but don't remember some of those songs being in top hat. No. Have you squeezed some extra uh, Irving Berlin songs in? We have uh, quite a few. There were f only five in the movie, so obviously to put a musical together, mm. you have to have a few more songs than five. So we actually had, we have now twelve songs, I think, I believe it is. And Irving wrote so many, didn't so you? So many. Like, like, they, they found them through a catal the, the catalogue of about yeah twelve twelve hundred songs or something um, of Irving Berlin. So uh, they had to sift through all of them and get the right ones for the show. Yeah. So. Best ones. Yeah. Are in it. And they really they fit perfectly. And is that, do you think, one of the reasons why it's taken so long for the film to be ta uh, taken to the stage as a musical? Because no, now it's, it's normal, isn't it, to take a back catalogue and, yeah. and make a musical around it? Well, the fascinating thing here is that because the film is so successful, you'd think there's a no-brainer that it goes onto stage. Mm. But for 70-odd, 75, 76 years, people have fought over the rights. And, mm. and, and it's just that... Kenny Wax, the producer, he must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he was rejected <laughs> and yet he flew to New York and said, I'm coming anyway. Let On the pretense of something else, mm. trying to get the rights for something else. And he and went in and he just and he said, said, look, actually, I'm not there. I'm not here I'm for here that. To talk about Top yeah. I've come all this way. And, he's, and, and he managed to do it. And so it really is a world exclusive. It's never been done before. It's very exciting. There is a story. Isn't there? There is a story. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> well, there's so much music and dancing well, and top hats. Hopefully, these two can. Right time to tell. What is we'll the story? Ask the story. In the, in the <laughs> well, the story is of um, Dale Tremont, who I play, and Jerry Travers. Who um, Jerry Travers is a Broadway star in, um, 1930, in the um, 1930s, and uh, he is coming to London with a show um, and uh, he meets this girl Dale Tremont who's there in London as a sort of socialite fashionista um, wearing the clothes of Alberta Bedini and they meet and it's it's, it's love at first sight yeah. for him for, well, and I she think is as well. as well I think for her but she actually um, is disturbed trying to go to sleep when he's tap dancing above her hotel room and uh, and that's how they meet it's and misconstrued identity really isn't it it's that perfect timing identity. of a door someone comes in one door once so she thinks he's someone else he can't understand why this girl is like shunning him when you know he gets physically and metaphorically slapped in the face gentle romance it's, yeah. it's boy meets girl it's love it's pure entertainment it's pure joy and and and, and at the end of it Guess what? Yeah. No. Guess really? what? <laughs> no. It's also been up until now pure Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, hasn't mm. it? So yeah, it was daunting. one of their most famous movies, um, you know, and and the iconic image of them in doing cheek to cheek, heaven, I'm in heaven, you know, that song and that that dance yeah. routine and that dress and the dress, yeah. So yeah. Um, we uh, we do have quite big shoes to fill, but 
Um, you know, as actors, we like to bring our own thing yeah. to it, but but obviously they were so perfect. You it, was, to... it was suggested by some that Ginger Rogers was was underappreciated actually in, in that partnership because everything Fred Astaire did marvelously, she had to do backwards going backwards and, and in smiling. Heels. Oh. And in heels. <laughs> now you can you can sort this one out. Can you definitely, you've got the I can definitely out vouch for that. <laughs> it's in the show. That yeah. line is actually is it? in it. Yeah, we, we wanted to put, give a little bit of an ode to, to that famous quote. And uh, yeah, so we have put it in the show, which is a bit of a... <laughs> we, I don't know which one is the same. Well, but come and see it. Was that part of the rights negotiations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not I sure. mean, they, they've, they've tailored it beautifully to, to, for, for an audience uh, today that, mm. you know, there's quirks and there's, there's new modern material. Well, not modern material, but there's just things that kind of bring in uh, the aspects that a, a modern audience would like. I mean, you're, you're, you've got this beautiful orchestration with a live orchestra in the pit, and then mm -hmm. you've got all the classic kind of Hollywood era, that style, the beautiful kind of glamorous period of the 1930s, like live on stage with Fred and Ginger's dancing. Mm. And then yeah. we didn't expect it to be quite so funny. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hopefully you would laugh as well, but I mean, the audiences have really enjoyed it. It's definitely the a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the, there are six principles in all um, who, who, who sort of fil filter into the plot of the mistaken identity, and, um, and they're all brilliant c mm. comedy actors as well as um, musical theatre actors. So, um, yeah, we have, we have a good time, and it's, it's feel good fun with some absolutely beautiful costumes and mm -hmm. set, and, mm -hmm. and the, the, obviously the songs are so memorable and and it's the reason you know Kenny, Kenny was so um, adamant on bringing this this thing back to the West End this this sort of old traditional musical was to you know Fred and Ginger would be lost otherwise uh, you know with this generation with so much entertainment and so many you know Nintendo and you know games consoles mm. lo television pr programs on you don't have the You're Sunday matinee mm. yeah. on, on yeah, the yeah. television you keeping you the legends watch. alive we're trying yeah, to yeah it, to. bringing yeah. it to the new generation it's very scary of course as well, <laughs> because we'll do it we'll do it they were demi gods but uh, <laughs> yeah, but you have been, hang on, you've been practicing for a while. Well, you? <laughs> we had a, we had very a scary you've been on the road for 17 yeah, weeks. But this is, <laughs> we mean, had a lucky, <coughs> lucky r run with that. It's, it's, it's very unusual to do that. Although more shows are doing it now, you know, with Ghost coming to Manchester and Mary Poppins started in Bristol. And, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's becoming the norm to yeah. go on the you road. You can't be and then nervous going to the West End, surely. It's live. It's live. Oh, it's live. Happen. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I mean, no, it, it is, it is, it's, it's very different to uh, kind of filming on television or, or with a film mm. where you have your you have your crew and you have your lines and you're just doing it you know telling the story and this is it's live and there's a huge audience there I mean Summer bless her she was kind of pretty much born on the stage so <laughs> I'm actually learning everything from her but I mean it's <laughs> But I'm doing brilliant. How would you judge his dancing? <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. I mean, we as a partner. She's partnership, dragging me around. <laughs> like, it's we, around here. We, you know, yeah, you have to get used to a partner. You know, in any way, even if you're dancing with yeah. an, a, a professional dancer. At least when you first got together, and you said, "Show us your medals." So you had one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, he had a trophy. <laughs> so I, you know, well, I can't compete with that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Great and good luck with you. It. And Top Hat will be showing at the uh, Aldwych Theatre in London from the 19th of this month. Mm.